my uncle. Oh, Drew Brees is the goat. And Drew Brees is the goat. We welcome everyone into a new episode of Time to Football. I'm your host, Hassan Khan, and playoff football is right around the corner. Just two weeks left, and some teams are still fighting for a postseason spot. A couple of those teams include the NFC East teams, the Dallas Cowboys and the Philadelphia Eagles, which at 7-7, seven seven, it just comes down to who's the best of the worst that's going to win that division. Kind of like Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump. Speaking of Trump, recently there was a vote to determine that he was going to be impeached for some reason. But in the spirit of voting, I thought, let's talk about the Pro Bowl because those rosters came out earlier this week and a lot of fans voted for the favorite players to make the Pro Bowl. But as always the case for every year, there are those players that deserve to get in, but didn't. In this video, we're going to mention five players that deserve to get in, but are Pro Bowl snubs. But before we get into that, we're going to mention our hungriest player of the week. Hungriest player of the week, the one that wanted it the most. A lot of candidates this week, including our honorable mention, Brashad Perriman of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, who stepped up once Chris Godwin got hurt with three touchdowns. But we had to give the award to a guy that was the afterthought in Miami for the last three years, and that's Cardinals running back Kenyon Drake. You have to look at his story. Never considered a three down back, eventually traded away to Arizona where he made the most of his opportunity, beating out David Johnson for the starting job. And this past week against the Cleveland Browns, he rushed for four touchdowns in that victory. And that is why he is the hungriest player of the week. So now let's talk about the Pro Bowl. So I'm a little bit of an NFL nerd. Once week eight hits and Pro Bowl voting begins, I sit down and I cast my votes for every position once a week. So I go a little bit overboard. I just have a lot of fun doing it. But the reason I do it once a week is because my votes for the players that I voted for in week eight is much different by the time I vote for these players in week 14. I wanna make sure that the best of the best, the most deserving players get nominated to attend the Pro Bowl. But somehow there ends up being snubs every single year. And now we're gonna mention five players who should have gone to the Pro Bowl, but got left out in the voting. So for every player that we mentioned as a Pro Bowl snub, we're going to mention one player that they should replace on the Pro Bowl roster. Starting with number five, Chief Safety Tyron Matthew. This is the veteran's first season in Kansas City. He's having a pretty good season, 62 tackles and three interceptions. So which player should he replace on that AFC roster? We like Earl Thomas. He's having a good season as well. But on an individual standpoint, Tyron Matthew is having the better season. If you look at the stats, Earl Thomas, 45 tackles and only two interceptions. Maybe Thomas made it because the Ravens defense is better than the Chiefs defense, but if you're looking at an individual standpoint, just the stats alone, Tyron Matthew is having the better season. At number four, Raiders tied in Darren Waller. Waller came out of nowhere, that's what she said, this season and easily became Derek Carr's favorite target. 80 receptions, 1,000 yards, but which tight ends made the Pro Bowl for the AFC? Travis Kelsey, understood no question about it but mark andrews uh, don't get me wrong i totally understand he's deserving eight touchdowns this year lamar jackson's favorite target in the red zone i get that but compared to waller the yards and the receptions aren't there and waller if you watch the raiders play is the reason why Derek carr's completion percentage is so high i like andrews like i said he's deserving but i voted for waller at number three, this may surprise some people, but Lions wide receiver Kenny Galladay. You may not know it, but he leads the NFL in receiving touchdowns with 10. He's over 1,000 yards receiving already, and he's played with three different starting quarterbacks. So who on that stacked NFC roster should he replace? Not Michael Thomas, that's a given. Chris Godwin, with his breakout campaign, deserves it. Mike Evans does as well. As a Falcons fan, it's gonna pay me to say this, but Julio Jones. Obviously, Julio Jones is having a good season like he does every single year. As a matter of fact, he has 26 more receptions than Kenny Galladay. But consider the fact that Galladay has four more receiving touchdowns on 26 less receptions. If Stafford was healthy for the whole entire 2019 season, who knows how impressive 
Galladay would be. It just backs up the fact that the Pro Bowl has become a popularity contest and fans will only vote for the familiar names. Number two on the list, a guy that not a lot of people know about, Viking safety Anthony Harris. So who made the roster for the NFC for safety? Buda Baker and Eddie Jackson. Buda Baker has been a tackle machine. I believe he has about 92 tackles by the time that this video is filmed. So he deserves to be in. But Eddie Jackson is a questionable one. So Bear safety Eddie Jackson has one interception this season. Anthony Harris has five. Not only that, but he got those five interceptions and fewer passes defended than Eddie Jackson. So that just shows that Harris was much more productive in the little amount of work that he saw compared to Jackson, who's a very good safety, but this year, there's just better options out there for the NFC. Jackson had a Pro Bowl season last year in 2018. Maybe more casual fans still believe that he's having the same production this year, probably voted for him, and that's why he got in instead of Anthony Harris. And the number one Pro Bowl snub on this list, Josh Allen of the Jacksonville Jaguars. So Nick Bosa will probably win Defensive Rookie of the Year, but you could make a strong case for Josh Allen, who's having a very good season, 10 sacks in 14 games. But which player should he replace on that AFC roster? Frank Clark of the Kansas City Chiefs, who's having a very good year, but not as productive as Josh Allen. So Clark was the topic of NFL headlines this past offseason when he was traded from the Seattle Seahawks. So maybe that was engraved in some people's minds when they were voting for the Pro Bowl and they thought, oh, I know Frank Clark. I know that name. He must be very good. I'm going to vote for him. A very good player. But this year, if you look at the production, individually, Josh Allen is having the better season. But I want to hear from you guys. Do you agree with the list or do you disagree? Leave a comment down below and let us know your own Pro Bowl snubs if we didn't mention them in this video. Also, be sure to like this video and subscribe to this channel so you can stay up to date when we come out with a new episode every single week. Also, hit me up on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. The username for all three is at time to football Other than that, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I'll see you next week.